Beautiful. Good afternoon and welcome to Overdy Vest Nurseries. I'm here in the middle of the area where we grow, as you see, lots of roses. These are the ones that go out to our partnering garden centers that are located right throughout our region. That's the mid-Atlantic and northeastern states. And as you see, they're all grown in pots in containers, which means, of course, that when you go along to visit the garden centers, you'll be able to look at all of the individual varieties. When we ship them out, they're in flower, but also, most importantly of all, it means that they can be planted out safely now right through the whole of the growing season from spring through summer, this time of year, into the fall. It means that you're able to go through and pick your favorite varieties and then enjoy them in your garden. And because the varieties that we grow have been carefully selected for having repeat flowering or continual flowering characteristics, as well as, of course, of ease of maintenance and very importantly, disease resistance. It means that when you go along to visit the garden centers and see all of these lovely varieties there, you'll be able to pick the ones that appeal to you most and know that when you bring them home and grow them, you'll be able to enjoy them for many years to come. <laughs> and the reason that I'm out here today, surrounded by all of this glorious color, not to mention the lovely wafting fragrance that's carried in the air, is that I wanted to share with you a bit of good news that we got just last week. And that is that I was honored to accept on behalf of all of the people who work at our partnering garden centers and our very talented team of colleagues that work here on the nursery, a very nice award that we got from Bailey's Nurseries in recognition of the work that we've been doing with their range of roses, which is called Easy Elegance. Now, what's interesting about this is that this is a range of roses that we've been growing and trialing and testing here since 2016. Over seven or eight years of trialing and testing, we've selected the varieties that we know are excellent performers for right here in this region, ones that we know perform very well, and in their words, call them no-fuss roses. Really good varieties in a range of color, and I'd like to take you now and show you some of my favorite varieties that you might want to try in your garden too. Now, when you go along and visit the garden centers, one of the things you're going to see is that these are really nice, vigorous, and very healthy varieties. And when you look at varieties like this lovely one here, which is called Coral Cove, it has the semi-double bright orange flower that really jumps out at you. And then, Take a look at this beautiful variety here, which is called Kashmir. Now here's a very, very good shrub rose. It's got these lovely dark red, as you see flowers here carried in profusion, lots of buds. But one of the things I like about this variety, as well as having this nice healthy foliage and general good constitution, is the fact that when it comes out fast, as you see, it produces all this bright young red growth on it. So when you get plants like we've done here that have been trimmed back, and as you see, we stagger trim these, we call it cycle pruning, so that some varieties are right now at their peak, and these are the ones that are probably going out this week to the garden centers but then look behind and you'll see there's some that were trimmed about perhaps a week or ten days ago and already they're producing lots of young fresh growth and new flower buds and in about two weeks time maybe three these will be at the garden centers too so there's a continual cycle of beautifully presented bushy compact and glorious flowered roses as you see this is Kashmir a lovely lovely deep dark red rose variety 
So altogether, it's a very nice variety. Now here's one that will grow to about three to four foot high. It's hardy to zone four, which means that it will easily grow anywhere within our region. And you'll see that it carries its flowers here on these nice strong stems too. So this would make a nice item for cutting and bringing in and putting in a vase as a cut flower rose too. Now, if your tastes go towards softer pastel shades, then take a look at this lovely variety here, which is called Music Box. Again, you'll see that this has really fantastic dark green glossy foliage, very good disease resistance, and what I love about it is that on these roses, you will see that there's multiple colors. Comes out first with a soft kind of lemon yellow color. Then as the petals age, you'll see they take on a pinkish coloring. And what's neat about them too, is that as these petals unfold, they kind of roll back to give a classic kind of little hybrid tea type flower on them. And then when you look at these plants here, you'll see that they are very free flowering, carrying lots of flowers all over its rounded habit. Now this is another variety that will get to about four foot or so, up to maybe about five foot, and it's also very hardy. This is a zone four variety too. Now, if you're looking for a nice little short compact growing one, then this variety that's called Calypso is one that you would definitely want to check out. It only grows about two foot high by about two foot wide, making these beautiful rounded short compact mounds that has dark green foliage, again with wonderful disease resistance. Carries these dainty little two and a half inch wide flowers with lots of petals. They're carried as clusters at the end of the shoots and they're prolifically produced in flushes right through the season from early summer through the summer and into the fall too. But there's another one that I want to show you too, and that's this lovely yellow variety here that's called high voltage. This really has, as you see, this beautiful deep lemon yellow color. It fades to a paler lemon yellow, which is very becoming, all on strong, sturdy stems with lovely dark green foliage. It's not always easy to get a good yellow rose, and this one certainly fits the bill very well and is probably well worth checking out if you're interested in the yellow shades. It's a fairly upright grower. It grows about four to five foot high by only about three to four foot wide. And as I mentioned, carries good strong growth, strong stems, and therefore will make a nice item for cutting and bringing indoors if you're looking for flowers to put into a vase from time to time. Carries plenty of petals on each of the flowers, which are produced in clusters at the end of the tips and then carried in flushes from early summer through the summertime, now through midsummer and even well into the fall too. Bred by Ping Lim in 2007, it's an excellent variety that we would definitely suggest that you think about checking out too. I'm very fond of these nice bright lemon yellow shades and this one is definitely one that uh, we, we think a lot of too. And this little flowering machine is called Paint the Town. This is an incredible rose because it spreads out to make a low spreading mound that, as you see, is covered with these very bright, almost fluorescent red flowers that are held again above dark green, glossy, disease resistant foliage. It's a variety that's like the others, hardy to zone four, will get only about two to maybe three foot high and spreads out slightly wider than tall. And when you look at it carefully, you'll see that it's covered with lots of these little pointed buds that then open with these absolutely exquisite velvet red flowers that put on such an eye-catching display. Raised 
like all of these varieties, by one of the world's top breeders, Ping Lim. He raised this one in 1995. And as you see, if you're looking for something that's really going to stop your visitors that are coming to your gardens in their tracks, and you want to put something in a bed, say, along the front of a border where it's going to be low and spreading, this is very definitely a variety that you should think about growing. Paint the town, well named because it absolutely is electric red with all of this bright, bright color. And then I can't talk about easy elegant roses and not mention this spectacular variety. This is one called Sweet Fragrance. Very well named because as I stand now in the middle of this batch there's a fragrance wafting in the air which is very sweet and nice. What's interesting about it is that if you bury your nose in the flowers, at least from my point of view anyway, when I smell them, I'm getting a faint fragrance, but not really strong. But it's interesting that amongst the plants growing in the beds, they're releasing the fragrance. So it's in the air rather than on the individual flowers for some reason. Also, take a look at the foliage on this plant and you'll see that it's really glossy and dark green, which helps it resist the diseases, of course. But also, look at the amount of buds and flowers that each of these plants is carrying. And most importantly of all, look carefully at how the buds are changing from the time they emerge first as a little hybrid tea type flower bud and this is a variety called, or a type of rose rather, called a Grande Flora, kind of in between a hybrid tea and a Floribunda. So it's got the buds, the high centered buds of a hybrid tea, but the flower characteristics are of a Floribunda, and that's what makes this such a wonderful variety for putting out in beds and planting it in, as you see, nice groupings. If you've only got a small space, just one plant will be perfect. But if you can group these in threes or fives or perhaps sevens, as you see by these plants here, they make much more effective display. And then, as I started to tell you a minute ago, you'll see that the flower buds come out first with this kind of apricot color. Then, as they gradually develop, if you look inside the flower, you'll see they've got lemon yellow in the inside of the flower. And then, as the flower petals age, you see they take on a pinkish coloring, so that overall, when you look at it from a distance, it has a kind of salmon pink color. And like I mentioned with some of the other varieties, the young foliage that comes out too is very pretty as it's emerging. And here, as you see, is a very good example of our cycle pruning where these plants are ready to go out now to the garden center. But these were trimmed about a week or 10 days ago and they're just now beginning to come again. And that's something you can do in your own garden at home. In other words, if you take a pair of pruners and go through when the flowers are going over like this one and just snip them off, we call it deadheading, that keeps the plant growing and keeps it fresh and producing new flowers buds and that helps to extend the flowering period because this is a variety like all of these that flowers and flushes throughout the season. The flowers themselves tend on this variety to be solitary, carried one per stem. On some of the other varieties that we were looking at earlier, they're produced in clusters at the ends of the tips. But this is a really beautiful variety, lovely coloring and also, as I mentioned, that lovely fragrance too. Needless to say, this is definitely one of my favorites in the entire Easy Elegance range. But there's one more I want to show you. And that's this lovely variety here, which is called Champagne Wishes. Very well named, 
because when you look at the flower buds here, you'll see that to the center of them, they have a kind of champagne coloring. As the buds then unfold and the flowers open, you'll see that that gradually changes to pure white, which contrasts beautifully against the dark green disease resistant foliage. It's a fairly upright growing variety. We'll get to about three and a half, four foot high and it tends to be a little narrower than tall and as you see carries plenty of flower buds all over its upright rounded habit. The flower buds come, they're solitary on the ends of the shoots here so again this would make a nice little item for cutting and bringing in and putting into miniature or small flower arrangements. It's a variety that again is hardy in our region here so no need to worry about hardiness shows very good disease resistance bred like all the others by Ping Lim he bred this one somewhere before 2012 and it's one that I love to have in my garden both as a bedding rose but also it makes a lovely plant for putting into a container so this is a plant that you can bring a good deal of sophistication and classy look to your garden because it really is again another lovely variety and I'm of course a sucker <laughs> for pure white flowers especially when they look like these ones. So there you are there's a little summary of some of the best performing easy elegance roses that we grow here in the nursery and that you're going to find at our partnering garden centers. As you see, a lovely selection of great performing roses that are produced throughout the season so that when you go along, you'll be able to see them in all of their spectacular glory. They truly are no fuss roses that do well in average garden conditions. All they really want is just a piece of good free draining soil in an open sunny location, dig a good generous sized hole and be sure to water them well until the plants get established and thereafter I think you'll find that these varieties will do very well in your garden too. Now it's lovely to get this award, it's deeply appreciated and I had a great deal of pleasure accepting it on behalf of all the dedicated and very talented people who work here on the nursery and also at our partnering garden centres. But you know the real reward of growing these roses is seeing them in people's gardens and so I hope you now will get a chance to go in and visit some of our partnering garden centers, see the plants for yourself, then talk to the experts there and find out the ones that they believe do best in your neighborhood and then be able to grow and enjoy them and share them with your friends and family too. This is David Wilson. Enjoy your gardening. It's good for us and it's very good for our environment as well.